I swear on everything, EA Sports does not want me to run this play, guys. No matter how many times I try to run this play, literally EA Sports always finds a way to mess this up. So if you guys saw my video yesterday, you know I tried to run this play a million times in my video. And first off, he lined up behind the tight end on the right-hand side. He lined up behind the tight end on the left-hand side, number 80. He lined up in the, you know, way too far back. And now he's lined up next to the left guard. I can't even hike the ball because of the fact that he's not even lined up anywhere near where he's supposed to be lined up. I don't know why this one play is just like so glitched out by EA Sports. But if I go ahead and call it again. Again, all I'm simply calling is a Wildcat trips over. Which, again, the, the quarterback's, the guy who's the quarterback is the running back, right? So he just sits there. The guy just sweeps it. He holds on to it. And he makes the play. <clears throat> but. Okay. You know. Listen. That was actually way more effective than it should have been. I'm not going to lie to you. Like that is a glitch. But at the same time though. That's actually a glitch that you know. Might actually work out in my favor. If that happened in a real game. Actually and let me go to view highlights. There we go. This actually might work out in my favor if there was a situation where this happened in the real game. Now, is he... Wait, is, he didn't. Fall, he technically isn't offsides. Yeah, he technically is not offsides. So, how did he do this? Hold up. So, the ball goes from... He throws it underneath of his... Bro, there is no way. There is no way. Okay, no, I think it's, yeah, this okay, this just glitched to his hand. Okay, I was about to say, because I thought what he did was throw it underneath of his left leg, and it went, like, to the guy. Because we saw last night when I made a video about this, right? It actually ended up going off of his, uh, like, he started to snap it to the running back. It hit the left guard in the butt cheek, and it became a fumble. But this time, it looks like EA has fixed that problem, and now it just glitches straight to the running back, who, again, like I said before... In a real game, if I needed like three or four yards, this probably would have been a first down. This might have been the biggest glitch play for a first down because, again, it's easy yardage. Now, normally someone could stop this. Don't be wrong. If, you know, I'm playing someone on line right now, they're probably going to just hover right over this guy and shut me down. But if I'm, if they don't realize it or, you know, I just get the playoff fast enough, that might work. Also, here's another thing. So, obviously, it's supposed to be a jet sweep, right? So, 21, Frank Gore, is supposed to run across. But because they're never able to run fast enough, it ends up just being a direct snap to the running back a, uh, yardage. This is so weird. I don't even know what to say. This is obviously also a legal formation. Just a side note here, this is a penalty in real football, but... EA Sports, man, they never cease to amaze me when it comes to this glitch. And now he's lined up in even more locations than he was last night. Like, how is this even a thing, EA? Fix your game, please, because you guys suck. You guys suck with your game. I'm not, I'm not lying to you, man. This is a joke with these glitches. Let me see. So this is what's supposed to happen, right? That's what's supposed to happen on the play. But instead, it ends up just becoming what just happened there before. See, this is what's supposed to happen. It's simple. It's easy. No problem at all. And then EA Sports just kicks in and says, Never mind. We're just going to have this crap happen. Ah, <sighs> EA. And I've seen so many glitches in Madden 24 so far. This is one of a very few that can be pointed out this early on in my within three days of coming out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.